So there's a bunch of people in white coats out there somewhere in the world whose job is to tell you about all the boring stuff you need to do all the time because it's good for you. Otherwise, you won't get to live forever and go to the Alpha Centauri galaxy with all the other post-mortals. One thing they always say we ought to do is exercise, and swimming is considered one of the best forms of exercise in the world. You just need water. But those eggheads obviously did not take into account the fact that while swimming is indeed really great cardio, you can also be pulled to the interminable of crafty and depths of the deep ocean by some horrifying sea monster. And that is not good for your health, let me tell you for nothing. Anyway, from the giant mashup tentacle beast to the fish that's named after a ferocious big cat, here's the 15 most dangerous animals on the beach. <sighs> Number 15. Portuguese Man o' War It'd be pretty easy to mistake this big floating blob for a kinda jellyfish but that would be your first mistake with the Portuguese Man of War, because it is a very weird creature called a siphonophore, and it is a bunch of separate organisms, all kinda pitching in together to create one super creature. One of these organisms is the gas-filled bladder, which sits on top and gives the creature its name. Seeing as it resembles an old warship, the Portuguese being the naval masters of the universe, back when this thing was first noted down on some scroll, And the science folk of olden days were like, it looks kinda like a Portuguese man of war boat. Your second mistake with this thing would be going anywhere near it, as another organism is the tentacles, which can measure 160 feet in length. These carry a powerful sting and are used to kill prey, which the man of war then absorbs. They can float along in colonies of 1,000 individuals. Or. Wait, uh, not individuals, because there's like four parts in each one. So excuse you, the Man of War is not an it, it's, but a they, them. The stings are excruciatingly painful and getting stung a bunch of times could even kill. So if you see this while swimming, get out of the water right away. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Lionfish They don't go right ahead and name you after a lion just because you have a cute little furry collar that makes you look like a 17th century European duke. They name you after a lion because you are a badass predator that everyone ought to be afraid of. The lionfish also has a bunch of other names like the tasty fish, lion here, lionfish. and the turkey fish, which are kinda not so cool. I mean, the turkey fish. This is a badass fish that is like the damn dreadnought of the sea. Just look at those spines. Those things are here for one thing and one thing only. To bring pain, they are super venomous and touching one is going to hurt. A lot. They also have a weird little tentacle hanging from their heads they use to attract prey. They can also be a pain in the butt since they are an invasive species in many places and just rampage through their new environments without any predators breeding like crazy until they wreck everything. So brave divers have to go down into the water and try and collect them up so some of the other fish can have a little peace. Number 13. Sea Snake you thought land snakes were bad? Do you even know about these slithery boys from the sea? Because I'm gonna tell you straight up, sea snakes are badass. First up, the majority of sea snakes are venomous, and some of them are among the most venomous creatures in the world. A couple of drops can wipe out 10 people in what sounds like a pretty awful slow death, so there's that. Luckily, sea snakes are all about being chill most of the time, and even if they do bite, it's usually just a warning to leave them alone, so they don't inject venom. Why would they waste it on you, huh? They have better cool sea snake stuff to do. They're pretty shy and fishermen usually just pick them up with their bare hands and throw them back into the water if they catch them by mistake, although once in a while they form into a massive group of a million sea snakes and just kind of float around together for a bit for some reason. If you live near the Atlantic, you're all good. Ain't no sea snakes there. They just hate the cold. But if you're out surfing in tropical waters, on the other hand… Number 12. Saltwater Crocodile 
The saltwater crocodile is literally the most insane predator in the world, and if one of these massive water T-Rexes shows up at your beach, you may as well just curl up into a ball and cry. They're 22 feet long. That's longer than your grandpa's 1970s land yacht. Can you imagine something the size of a Lincoln Continental coming at you with teeth? That's a salty and they have some serious bite to those teeth, able to apply 5,000 pounds of pressure per square inch, which is only the number one most powerful bite of any animal in the whole universe. So far they are mean, they are angry like a honey badger, and they will take on goddamn great white sharks and win. They can swim 600 miles out to sea in one trip, and they ain't scared of you either. Attacks on humans from these monsters are literally a hundred times deadlier than sharks. Is there any hope? Well, if you're fit and healthy, you can probably outrun one on land, so maybe forget that whole curling up in a ball thing. Just run for your life. Number 11. Cone Snail What's that? You can't possibly imagine how any animal could be as terrifying as a saltwater crocodile in the whole wide world? Well, you have obviously not considered the snail. Yeah, that's right, one of the ultimate super terrifying beasts in the world. The slimy little guy with his little house on his back. But this ain't no ordinary snail. First up, it's a sea snail known as the cone snail. And second, it looks pretty cool. Like a swirly cappuccino in one of those swirly cappuccino kinds of places. So you know it looks purdy, and that means people just go right ahead and pick it up, which is a really bad idea. This little snail has a needle-shaped proboscis, which is sharp enough and powerful enough to pierce diving gloves and has a nasty double effect. A venom strong enough to kill 10 people, and then a painkiller so you don't even know you've been hit. Hours or even days later, you start to get a weird tingling and numbness, which is only the beginning. The venom then just basically melts all your organs, and at least 30 deaths have been attributed to cone snails. God damn. Number 10. Crown of Thorn Starfish so they named this thing after the other thing the Romans put on Jesus' head as he was being led up to be crucified? Which, I mean, come on guys, you're about to nail the dude to a cross. A crown of thorns seems kinda mean. One thing that might have been less douchey would be a starfish. Sounds kinda cute, like something from The Little Mermaid. Only if it happens to be the crown of thorn starfish. We are right back where we started because you do not want one of these starfish on your head or on any other part of your body. This starfish is one of the biggest starfish in the world. And it lives all over the Indo-Pacific, but especially in the waters around Australia. It especially likes to live on coral reefs. In the crown of thorn starfish, the tissues contain venom, and when a person or unsuspecting creature touches the starfish, the spines can embed into the flesh, and these chemicals can cause sharp stinging pain and nausea almost immediately. Let's all just wear normal hats and be thankful the Romans are no longer crucifying people. Number 9. Stonefish they call it the stonefish because it looks like a stone. But that's kind of underselling this mean boy. Because the stonefish is more famous for being the most venomous fish in the world. That's right, as far as fish go, this is the daddy. Its spines each contain sacs of venom, which are administered when triggered by any kind of pressure applied to the body. And you know it also looks like a stone, which means a bunch of people have stepped on one and then it gets really bad. In Australia, all beaches have huge vats of vinegar in stock. Because that can help lessen the pain a little. But it's still going to hurt like hell for who knows how long. Of course, in Japan, they like to eat them. Nothing like a little insanely strong venom gonna stop people in the land of Godzilla, samurai, and the civic type R getting some stonefish sashimi on the menu. These things can also survive out of water for a pretty long time too, so even on the beach, you aren't really safe. Just stay away from all rocks. They just aren't good for you. Number 8. Stingray 
Now we all know the story about Steve Irwin, everyone's favorite crocodile cuddling Aussie TV personality that was killed in a freak stingray attack. And when I say freak, I mean it was literally just freakishly bad luck of the highest order. Only one other person has died in a stingray attack in Australian waters since 1945. So these are seriously rare events. But still, it reminded everyone that these chill flat rolled sharks are capable of inflicting serious damage, if they feel like it. In both cases, the stinging barb on the tail of the stingray hit the victim in the chest, sending the venom straight to the heart. But stingray venom is complex stuff and actually has an anesthetic effect. Ancient Greek dentists used it as a painkiller when performing dental surgery. But don't try and apply it directly from the ray itself, you know that would be a bad idea. Because even if not fatal, a strike from one of these rays can certainly hurt like hell. Man, don't you miss Steve Irwin now? Number 7. Striped Surgeon Fish from dentistry to surgery, and we're meeting the striped surgeon fish. These colorful guys measure about a foot long and live in the Indian and Western Pacific Ocean. They are especially well known in the waters around Japan, the Philippines, Polynesia, and Hawaii. They are also found around the Great Barrier Reef and tend to hang around near the bottom. This means that most of the stuff around them is kind of a worry, because in the ocean everything is basically trying to eat everything else almost all the time. But that ain't no bother for the striped surgeon fish, because it has a whole fan of razor-sharp spines on its back, like a surgeon's scalpel. And even more crazy, these spines are venomous, so it will slice you up and then envenomate you at the same time. Because it is such a badass fish, the people of American Samoa value it higher for ornamental reasons, maybe using them as a rear-view mirror ornament, which says I'm a fun guy who likes fish. But also, if you steal my car, I'm coming for you with poison razors. Number 6. Sea Slug What should you do if you see a sea slug? Well, not try and say see a sea slug quickly without making a mistake. That's a mighty tongue twister. No, you should just get out of the water. Fast, in fact. The rule is that if you see anything brightly colored in the sea, it's best to avoid it. Because bright colors usually mean pain or death, most creatures are happy to be a kind of murky brown or gray, so you know that something is up when they're all like, hey, look at me over here, I'm super brightly colored and fun. You see, sea slugs have a special ability to kind of drink up the toxic chemicals they encounter in other creatures that they eat and store them for use against their own predators, which they might mistake you for if you're not lucky. The worst thing you can do to a sea slug is eat one, because it will make you extremely sick and has been known to kill dogs who have tried out one of these critters for food. They may look like nature's fruit loops, but better stick to a popsicle. Number 5. Flower Urchin Here's another one that's all about look, but don't touch. The Flower Urchin these flowers are not really flowers at all, but tentacles with their own set of jaws. These are known as pedicillaria, and these cute little flowers with teeth have one job, inject you with toxins strong enough to potentially kill you. In the 2014 Guinness Book of World Records, the flower urchin was named the most dangerous sea urchin in the world. And it is not hard to see why. They live off the eastern coast of Africa and spread all the way across beyond Australia. In these regions, they are a common hazard for local pearl divers as the envenomation can cause temporary paralysis, which then leads to drowning. In spite of this, there's people who like to eat them, which is kind of insane, and the part they like to eat is the gonads. So if you ever head out to the Pacific Islands or the Philippines, you may well be offered a bowl of extreme venomous flower urchin testicles, served on rice with coconut milk of course. It's always a question of presentation after all. Number 4. Blue Ringed Octopus 
Octopuses are pretty insane looking things when you think about it, although they may be pretty familiar to us. Is there another species on this planet that looks more like a space alien than an octopus? But unlike face huggers from the Alien series, most octopuses are pretty harmless, even the really huge ones actually. All except one species, the blue ringed octopus. And this isn't some massive ship eating kraken that has old sailors waking up screaming every night. It's a tiny little blue octopus that happens to be the only venomous species that's a threat to humans. And boy, is it ever a threat. It might be the size of a golf ball, but this swimming ball of neurotoxin has enough venom to kill 25 people in one dose. Just to be extra evil, it also injects you with a painkiller at the same time, so you don't even know you've been stung. These brightly colored Satan spawn are also super aggressive and love to go on the attack, and even if you do realize in time that you've been hit, there's no anti-venom anyway, so send them back to Neptune, somebody, please. Number 3. Box Jellyfish so if you thought the thing at the beginning of our video that looks like a jellyfish but isn't was bad, then wait until you hear about the thing that looks like a jellyfish but is a jellyfish. It's the box jellyfish, which at least makes it sound like it might not be too hydrodynamic. But in fact, unlike most jellyfish, they are amazing swimmers powering through the water filled with pure evil. In the Philippines alone, up to 40 people a year die from box jellyfish stings, but the US National Science Foundation says that numbers may be way higher. On their tentacles are a ton of little things called nidocytes, which inject a dart full of venom into the victim, and have been described by an Australian medical journal as the most explosive envenomation process that is presently known to humans. They are also basically transparent and only around 7 inches long, so you can't even see them. Thanks to climate change, we are seeing an explosion in box jellyfish numbers, so just buy a Prius, alright? You can just rebadge it as a 98 Dodge Charger and hardly anyone will notice, so you'll be saving the world from jellyfish invasion and still look cool. Number 2. Great White Shark yeah, I mean, obviously, if you are in water and you see a literal great white shark, try to get out of the water. Or if you are an Australian surfer with balls of steel, you could try and take on a great white shark in a fistfight. That's also a possibility, but it hardly needs any introduction. Since it's the most terrifying predator in the entire universe, since records began, there have been more than 900 great white attacks in Australia alone, with 200 fatalities. But they don't just hang out with all the other murderous water animals near Australia, these huge boys can show up pretty much anywhere. Even in the Mediterranean Sea, off the coast of Italy, and crazy as it seems, off the coast of Cornwall, England. They weigh about as much as two SUVs and have 300 razor-sharp teeth, and can make spectacular breaches up into the air. Usually, they tend to avoid messing around with humans, which is probably smart on their part, since we are basically a 7 billion strong killing machine, but if they're feeling curious, they may just take a taste. Like a whole egg, and that's pretty bad news. Number 1. Sea Urchin you thought that huge mass of teeth and muscle was terrifying? Well, how about sea urchins? That's right, these little living koosh balls have got some nasty secrets. They are related to starfish. And like the crown of thorns from earlier, there are some species of sea urchin that are packing venom into those nasty looking spines. These things are super basic, and I'm not talking kale Instagramming lattes and white converse. I mean it's an animal which has an if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach to evolution. It's a simple guy, the kind that nods its head when that Leonard Skinner song comes on the radio while driving its flatbed. But just because there's not much to it, doesn't mean it isn't heavily armed. I mean the uh, sea urchin, not the guy in the pickup truck. But I guess it applies to both. These little urchins will cause you serious pain if you step on one by mistake. And their envenomation can injure skin, flesh, and even bone. The flower urchin is even said to be fatal. So just don't step on anything in the ocean, ever. 
Which sea creatures most made you want to run screaming back onto the land? In our video today. Have you ever had an encounter with something terrifying at the beach? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!